If you're having trouble writing these beats, a great thing you can do is this is where I got Hit the Loop from. He puts out a lot of free. The trick to stacking Super Sauce properly is to figure out Hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about making The topics I'm gonna to talk about today are how to create a really emotional intro with lo-fi effects and uh, like emo type influences, how to take the chord progression from that and bring it into a drop and make it hit hard, and then how to add leads into your drop to really make them cut through. So let's just go, let's get right into it. As I go through the video, if you have any questions or you want to know more, you want to ask me directly, you can follow me on Instagram or I also go live every Monday on Twitch where I do song feedback, we chat, we work on some music, we just chill out and it's a good time. So go ahead and do that. Future bass tends to be around 150 to 160. So for this one, I'm going to do 160. Pick a nice guitar loop to get started. Shout out to Why Hello. This is where I got the loop from. He puts out a lot of free guitar loops for you to get started. So shout out to him. I'll leave the link to his packs in the description below. So emotional means sad boy vibes, and we use the guitar loop to do that. I picked this one not for the actual guitar melody itself, but because of the harmonics and the little percussive elements that you hear in the back, because I can definitely process this and get some really cool sounds out of it. I'm gonna transpose it down so it sounds a bit different. So minus six, then add some processing on it. A cabinet plugin and some EQ to really highlight those percussive elements. From here we can add an acoustic guitar and some chords to go along with it. I use this awesome plugin called DSK Dynamic Guitars. This one's also free. Next, add some pads that match the chords up of that acoustic guitar. That's what really gives it a lot of depth and emotion. Now to bring it up, I like adding this OVO style Drake bass. And as always, this just follows the root notes of our chord progression. Sounds like this. add some ambience and it can be as simple as someone talking or some kind of spoken word in the background so you can find something like your favorite speech in a movie or anime but I don't have that so I just found this old sample of Bill Nye the science guy keeping batteries in the refrigerator makes them last longer and add a bit of reverb grain delay and EQ and all of a sudden For the drums, you need a kick and a snare. Pattern looks like this. Kinda like a hip hop beat, very syncopated. If you're having trouble writing these beats, a great thing you can do is listen to one of your favorite artists in the same genre and then copy their drums exactly. And then you can kind of get a feel for how the patterns are being made. Next, a few percussion loops colored with a bit of RC20. And a few little impacts to give it that nice little detail. All together sounds like this. I've added a little piano lead to kind of bring us in. And then I simplified the chord progression so that one, it adds a bit of variation so that the listener doesn't get tired of hearing the same chords over and over again. And two, adds tension so that when the drop actually hits, it feels really good.
As for the drums, I'm a lazy boy, so I used a few drum build loops and automated a filter on it as the buildup progresses. Added a marching band style snare. and make it go faster with the build-up loops. And finally, just some impacts and reverses to bring us into the drop. A great way to do it is with a sampled sub bass and you can go in, transpose it down, add in a little reverse, and just a little vocal for or whatever. This vocal is just kind of not even anything, just a placeholder, but it works. I've taken the chord progressions that we've made throughout this intro and build up and put them onto a super saw. But I changed up the rhythm just a little bit so it sounds like this. Now to get that rhythm, it's what's gonna be matched up with the kick drums and we'll get to that in a second. If you want a super saw that is nice and thick like this, it is available in my Discord. So go ahead, join that. It's completely free so grab that and make some thick saw drops what we're doing is we're stacking these super saws together and I've made another one in a bit of a higher register sounds like a whistle with a bit of OTT and I've EQ'd out all the lows so that you don't hear any of the lows when it's mixed in with the main one and this is just literally a sine wave and a comb filter so pretty pretty straightforward to make and you notice how much wider and thicker it sounds you don't need too many layers I'd only have two two layers so don't get fooled by someone stacking like eight or nine the trick to stacking super saws properly is to figure out what's actually missing from the sound and then you add on another layer so that you're not over layering that will just help you when it comes to mixing and it'll just save you a lot more headache stack the layers but don't stack the layers <laughs> And the really important thing I was looking at for this was the tonality of the higher synth because I don't want the exact same sound layering on top of one another. I really wanted to get that like whistly thing. I actually had a third layer, but I ended up not using it because I have other plans for it. I had it in the mix. It was redundant, didn't sound good. So stacking the layers carefully is very important thing to do. Next we have a bass easy, a very distorted one. Just use a distorted bass like this. Make sure you're matching the rhythm of the bass with the super saws and try to leave some room on this hit here for the good old snare pause. Layer that with a sub bass. All together. Hear how thick that is? And we only have, ooh, we only have one, two, three, four layers. And that's gonna be way easier to mix than having 12 different layers. So be smart, be smart with your layers. And don't forget to sidechain it to the drums. Same type of thing. Our kick sounds like this, very thick, very loud. And I picked a nice dubstepy snare. In this sampler, I cut off the end so that it doesn't bleed out too much, and then I made up for it with erosion and reverb. And this is what the EQ looks like. Same with the kick, very simple. Just cutting out the lows to make room for the sub, and that's gonna sound like Add some crashes. Some world drum fills. Have a hat loop. Have another hat loop. All together. Now it's kind of 
kind of missing a little bit of a lead. So the solution I came up with that was to use the piano that I had in the build up, bring that in like this, and then have that layered with another lead. In order to get that lead to really cut through all of these saws, this is the type of processing that you need to do. First of all, make sure that everything is being sidechained. And the sound by itself actually needs to be like obnoxiously high. Inside Serum, I've got a lot of comb filters, a lot of noise, but the important thing is to run it through OTT and then put RC20 on it or any kind of redux bit crusher effect on it because what that'll do is it'll add a ton of extra distortion and harmonics from that. And those extra harmonics will really help it cut through the mix. That way you also don't have a bunch of different layers once again. Now from here you can even expand if you want to, especially with feature bass, you want to keep it interesting. So these are a few little bonus tips you can use in order to continue and make the song more interesting. I actually really struggled with this song trying to get it sounding cool because I was really afraid of it sounding like typical future bass. So a few of the things that I did was add vocals. I have like my placeholder vocal, but I was able to chop it up and have it in the background. As a primer, so that when I build into the second drop, I make something that sounds like. want to go more in depth on how to make that I've got a video of that right here check that out but that's gonna be all for today hi tomato yes are you enjoying your nap so if you like what I'm doing if you learned something from this today please like and subscribe to the channel I want to also give a shout out to the true homies on patreon you guys are helping support this channel and keeping me fed thank you so much when you join the patreon you can grab this project file along with all the little presets that are inside it if free is more your style though feel free to join the discord i've got a bunch of freebies on there follow me on all my socials i see all your dms other than that thank you so much for watching it's been real it's been good i'll see y'all next time